Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So this is when we go in completely clear and tap into seven Free Spirit decks to get messages. So we're going to dive right into it. We're going to tap into the Natural Oracle for Life or Messages for the Journey, Mind, Body, Spirit. We're going to tap into the Remember You deck and get the qualities that they want you to remember at this time. We're going to tap into the Divine Power deck, what your Divine Power is being used for or should be used for at this time. We're going to tap into the Real Divine Self-Care deck and get messages for Real Divine Self-Care of your Divine Power. We're going to tap into Real Divine Abundance. This is Real Divine Abundance messages for supporting you with Real Divine Abundance in all forms, I just want to say. Um, we're going to tap into the Divine Spirit deck. This is messages from divine spirit to your divine spirit it will be more direct guidance for all that came out in the reading and we're going to end it with pure love from spirit which i feel like this all is so definitely look at the um, length of this video the first pin comment on this video will be whatever the length of this video is i'll look up the angel number message definitely trust your own intuition besides what i say so just take a minute to clear out everything you are holding in your mind and heart and just get ready to receive so this is us receiving receiving love support backing in the physical i even love how the cards are set up in a heart picture you're here at the at the point and this is the love that is supporting you in the physical that's why i, I do it in a heart um this really is love support backing for you in the physical so they know better than i everything that you're holding in your mind and heart what you're doing in your life in the physical and there was a lot of love support backing for you for what you're doing so let's tap into the natural oracle for life for messages that want to come through the top card wants to be seen love is flying in your way is what they're saying yeah because i keep saying love is trying to come in for you so be open to receive love support backing for in this reading because that's been the ongoing message for the last couple of weeks the love support backing i know i say that all the time but amplified that they're trying to bring this home that you have love support backing you could feel guided to things that are actually really helping you at this time as you're trying to manifest and create things in your life as you're trying to build things up has been a repeating message for september so you could find and it's not just helping you with what you're trying to create and manifest but then also the energy that you're bringing to your day they could be assisting and bringing things in that are either lifting you up something to alleviate what you're thinking about some kind of tool like they were saying like they're guiding you remember in the akashic records there was a loan card of a person building up what they want in their life and they're helping you with the tools as you're doing that and that could be the actual stone that's helping you build but then also the energy that you're bringing to what you're building i know that sounds odd but they're bringing that home two times those dual ways that they're helping you um so they could be really helping you uh, in so many different ways and you could be feeling that especially in september so let's get into it but they wanted me to say that again so let's tap into the natural oracle for life or messages for the journey just let's get ready to receive messages that want to come through for us right now we're going to get very specific so even though we're tapping into seven decks it usually goes uh short sweet to the point specific messages yeah oh this is feeding me all day long and this is what they're gonna the kind of energy they're gonna be feeding you all day long that they're bringing home to you in various ways to be bold be different and be you so they're saying be bold be different stand out from the rest all that makes you unique is the most beautiful and be you in all your naturally different ways right now so they are literally bringing you back to yourself and that's been a repeating message we kept on getting the hermit card as much as you're trying to be like the nine of pentacles in your life with what you're working on but coming back to you be bold be different be you and it's that kind of energy it's you with your new unique talent skills energy right where you're planted making the most of it it's all on purpose so they're giving you that energy because we're not very supported with that in the physical that you just be bold you be different you stand out from the rest you do all that makes you unique the most beautiful and be you in all your naturally different ways right now they're bringing that home to you see the the that home <laughs> they're bringing that home to you that you just that stay rooted in that they're the ones that are nurturing that in within you and that's really going to support you very well at this time if you're guided to this reading to just be bold be different be you in all that makes that that right that's what they're supporting um so that is just beautiful like they said this is a lot of love support backing um that they're bringing 
for you to be bold, be different, be you in all your naturally beautiful ways. Um, and they're bringing that home to you in, in a many different ways that that's what's really going to serve you well in September. They want you to reach out for good connections right now. They're saying that it's a very good time to reach out and connect and form connections. That help and support is going to be available through your connections. So they could really be amplifying this, this reach out for good connections. So it's a great time to connect, reconnect, reach out and form those connections. Now help and support is now available through your connections. So to be nobody but yourself, you know, your unique self and bring that to situations. And this could help you in your personal and your work that you're reaching out for good connections right now. That's where your help and support is going to come at this time. They're calling you shining star. And again, they are giving you a star as well done, almost like for your work that you're doing in the physical. Like I began, there, this is love support backing for you for what you're doing in the physical. They're saying, this is a star for a job well done. You are on the right track and shining bright. All the stars are aligned and you're making great progress. Well done. They are the ones supporting you, like giving you a star for what you're doing, showing up in this way, quite literally, that you're on the right track. You, the stars are shining bright you're making great progress well done so they're nurturing you to keep going like they said right here keep going in all the be bold be different stand out from the rest they're kind of giving you a star for the work that you've been doing um, you're making great progress they're supporting that even farther reach out for good connections that the good connections are going to support your progress at this time you are on the right track that's what they're saying you're making great progress oops and this one also pure heart Oh, keep your heart pure, clear, and open no matter what has happened. This is how they're, see how it's supporting your soil here for progress? They're giving you a star for jobs well done, right? For what you're doing in the physical. They're feeding you this energy all day long. And to further your progress, reach out for good connections. And as you're doing this, keep a pure heart. And that's what I meant by they're going to keep you in the right energy, what you're holding in your mind and heart as the tools, as you're making your progress along the way, make sure you stay pure. Um, they're gonna help you with this. Keep your heart pure, clear, and open, no matter what has happened. Like no matter what has happened on this track as you're doing your work here, no matter what's happened, flush out the old hurts that cause blockages. Remember, if you're this tree being nurtured, clear out all the old hurts that cause blockages and remain open and clear. There needs to be room to receive all the good that is coming in. So they're assuring you you're making great progress. They're commending you for the work that you've done. Go even to further the progress. Reach out for those good connections. Keep going. But along the way, what they are supporting is this pure heart. And keep almost like your veins, you know, like if you're a tree, um, make sure that you're nurturing yourself. They're nurturing you. I know I'm making an analogy here, but they want to make sure that as you're making progress, along the way stay pure so no matter what has happened as you're doing the work along the way literally they're bringing this home keep your heart pure clear and open no matter what has happened flush out all the old hurts that cause blockages and remain open and clear there needs to be room to receive all the good that's coming in so what they're saying is if this is you clear out all the old keep working you're making great progress jobs well done be bold be different be you and clear out along the way so that they're supporting the floration if, the, if that's a word right so reach out for the good connections and can all the time if you feel your mind especially wandering um, or focusing on the things that, uh, you know, not pure causing blockages. They're helping you to flush it out, to welcome in the good that's coming in. And they're giving you a star for a job well done. So this is very much supporting your progress at this time. Reach out for good connections, keep going and keep flushing out the old and remain open for the new. They're supporting you to be bold, be different, be nobody but yourself. This is the one that, remember we got the wings of the butterfly in the overall that they're proud of you. Um, so they're saying that, yes, you're on the right track. You're making great progress. Well done. They're giving you a star for your, for all that you're doing and, and stay pure. Keep, have a pure heart. Remember we had Archangel Raphael, the heart chakra, and we had 10 of Raphael. So they're getting you back to this, your pure heart. Be nobody but yourself as you're going forward for progress. So going back to pure heart, like what are the qualities within you and your heart? Remember you, this is the remember you deck. When you get pure and back to here, what are the qualities within you as you're going forward for more progress? And that's what they're supporting. So let's see what remember you is pure heart. 
no matter what's happening, you're getting back to remaining open, clear for the good that's coming in. So they could be assisting and helping you to flesh out things that have happened thus far, actually, and kind of giving you a star well done that you're commending you and supporting and nurturing you, that you're on the right track, you're making great progress, continue to make, reach out for good connections here because they're saying help and support is available through your connections. Almost like a root, you know how it branches out? <laughs> this could be branching out for those connections that further your progress at this time. And anything that's happened in the past that is blocking your floration, if that's a word, um, they're helping you to flush out what's happened, any blockages and everything else. They're commending you almost for your growth, for your progress thus far, but you can keep growing and having more progress. So keep looking like that pink tree over there. Um, are up top because that's what they're nurturing and supporting at this time for your growth and progress and it's been a repeating message they're supporting what you're manifesting they're supporting what you're expanding on they're, they're supporting what you're growing right here right here it landed remember you are a truce maker so when it comes up for your connections remember you're a truce maker so there could be things that you're negotiating that you can almost bring to a new agreement a truce maker is making peace um, so you can make peace and reach out for the good connections. We got a lot of cards about um, leaving the toxic. When you say flesh out the old hurts, um, what's supporting you now with this growth, with this expansion? We had a lot about um, removing toxic, uh, one way, uh, not reciprocal, not nurturing, not nourishing connections and focusing more on the real help and support from the connections. So you're a truce maker. So there's something here about coming to new truces when it comes to your connections are finding the more connections that actually support this progress support that and making peace with what's not because here is flushing out all the old hurts and everything else so you could be making a different kind of peace with your relationships and connections and it's going to and in the big scheme of things enable the more positive good nurturing connections and making peace and kind of being a truce maker in the areas that bring the growth and the expansion. That's what they're saying. So let's step into what your divine power is being used for at this time. So truce maker, remember you're a truce maker. Don't focus so much on what's not working. Focus on what is. Focus on a, like kind of peaceful um, releasing whatever was causing blockages or anything else. You can let that go. You can focus on the more positive, good connections going forward. There was a lot that was coming through about what your relationships to everything, what's supporting, nurturing this, and what's not. So they're helping you to navigate that and continually reach out for the good connections that really do provide that help and support and make peace and come to new agreements or new truces, new peace with the things that are not. So they're kind of supporting the relationships that are actually supporting your progress at this time. So this is, again, like supporting your progress, commending you for going this far and flush out all that may cause blockages or and shifting to what's supporting you. So this is, yeah. So what is your divine power being ooh, used for at this time? Okay, there's a lot that your divine power is being used for. Yeah, just with this one was saying you have divine power to connect with for more peace. This remember you're a truce maker. You can connect divine power to connect with for more peace. They're the ones that are commending you for jobs well done. They're the ones that are helping you to flush out all that has happened before and the release the blockages so you have more peace um and you continue going forward so you can connect with them for more peace at all times they're kind of going to help you every single time like i said with this if this is you you connect with them for more peace they're enabling you to actually release everything that's happened old hurts um, they're helping you to work it out. You know, when you're try trying to make your progress or trying to bring something else to fruition and you hit a snag, they're helping you to release what's no longer uh, working or supporting you in some way. You can connect with them for more peace. You are a truce maker in that way for yourself and even with your connections and relationships to anything. Um, so you, they're bringing forth, you can make more peace. You can find the peaceful ground. If they keep bringing forth, you're like this tree here. So you can find the peaceful ground. You can rise above and always create and nurture that peaceful ground. Um, that, that's what they're bringing home for me. Wow, there's so many here. Okay, you have divine power to start. This is what they're, they're commending you for going forward on your project. So to start things, you have divine power to bring in more faith and trust here. 
Yes, that's what you're connected to as you go forward now. You have the divine power to set it free, to start things and set it free. You have the divine power to know what you really feel. This is going to get real. Like they kept on saying in the other reading, they're going to help you really get real. When you're talking about making progress and everything else, um, the things that are nurturing your progress, the things that are not, the things that you can release at this time, this is all bringing you back to what you really feel. Like what do you feel in your body? What do you feel in your mind? What do you feel... Um, as you're trying to flourish and progress things. So they're helping you to navigate this in a way to know what you really feel at this time through your divine connection. You have divine power to make it better for yourself and others. That's why they're giving you a gold star with whatever you're doing and going forward and the work that you're doing. They're supporting it. You have divine power to make it better for yourself and others. And you have divine power to use now for this. So this is what, like, if you picture something running through your veins as you're here being bold, different, nobody but yourself, it's to make it better for you and others. And they're giving you the divine power to use it. So anything that's getting in the way of that, they're helping you to release. Like that is the old um, clogs that um, kind of take away from your divine power to use and to make it better. So they are definitely helping you to create more peace for yourself, release what no longer serves, and get moving on the things, reach out for good connections, and keep going for progress. Um, and trust how you really feel is really going to help you navigate this whole thing. Like, what is serving you? What's not serving you? What's clogging your flourishment? What's not? I know that sounds weird to say, but that's what they're saying. Because they want to keep you clear and open for the good that's coming in. Um, and they're commending you for your work. So just like they're supporting you here with what you're doing, um, with what you're growing, what you're manifesting, the work that you're doing, do that for yourself. Now, that's going to be very different for all of us. And in September, it almost feels like as much as we're trying to flourish on the outside, there's a lot that we're cleansing and clearing at the same time to enable us to go even farther. And that's a very inside job. And um, I think that they're really encouraging us to find a lot of peace and kind of navigate that way. So there's always a peaceful resolution. You can have more peaceful terms with people. You can do that for yourself on the daily also. Um, but they're really having you work your divine power to actually make things better and use it to make things better. So they want you to, you have divine power to start, set it free. And along the way, definitely have more faith and trust. Um, Yes, that's what the it's that's the support. So let's tap into real divine self care messages because there's a lot about your divine power. Now that's it's odd to get so many divine power decks, and I think it's because they're the ones that are supplying. Like they said, love support backing for you in the physical. So we're not getting the gravity here. It does not help with the flourishment, <laughs> if that makes sense. They're the ones that are really uh, watering your ability here, your soil, and so. There's something about that because they're giving you a star for a job well done that you're making great progress continually to flush out the, everything that's happened. So they're really bringing home. There's so much that has happened here that you're probably still trying to get your bearings and keep going. And they're supporting that movement to start, to set it free, to keep going. And along the way, really trust everything that you're feeling because it's helping you to navigate and probably also to release things that are clogging up your movement forward to for progress there's a lot of evaluation going on which is why they're saying you know you can tap into what you really feel at the moment um and getting you yourself back to a pure heart because there was no joke we had two raphael cards about the heart so they're really helping you to pure out your heart and get clear and clean and back to your pure heart to be bold and nobody but yourself as you're going forward and they're commending you now not just for your work and your efforts that you're doing in the physical but also the energy like how you're keeping yourself as a pure heart despite what it's taking out of you in a sense right okay because they're telling you that your divine power is being used to used to make it better so they're commending you for this and keep going um, all right, so let's get the pure divine self-care, divine self-care messages. This pure heart, it's so beautiful. I'm always, I don't have the words. I hope, you, you know, it's landing here. 
celebrate your success. It landed on the shining star. They want you to celebrate your successes, your achievements, and all the love and joy you have created. This is you. They're supporting you here. Sometimes we're so caught up in what's going on. There's something about really releasing this because they're telling you to celebrate all your successes, your achievements, all the love and joy you've created. It's the gravity of the world that I talked about, not just the experience of everything that's happened, everything that you are you you get on the daily that doesn't encourage this um they're bringing you back to celebrating looking at your successes your accomplishments all the love and joy you've created coming back to your pure heart heart unclogging releasing everything that is in your veins at this point because of what you've experienced something about that because they're giving you a star for a job well done continue your progress because you're making it better you have divine power to use to make things better. So whenever you need more peace, you feel things have been taken away in some way energetically or from your experience, they're like connect with more peace. Make have you're a truce maker. Like whatever almost like you can work out. You have the ability to work things out in a more peaceful way for yourself or come to better terms to release it in some way so you're back to your pure heart. You know, it two things about a peace, a level of peace. Um, so you can go forward because they're looking at you to use for things and make things better. So they're like celebrate more of what you've created. Um, get back to more peace in all ways and keep going because you're making things better here. Um, but they're really assisting you with flushing out everything else because they are the ones giving you a star and you're going forward here. Um, you're making great progress. Well done. And they're helping you with the ability to keep going and do that and make things better and have the divine power to use for it. So. I would say and what can really be helpful is every single time you let go of any old hurt, any old thing from the past, getting back to just being clean and clear and open to receive more good coming in and feel more nurtured and creating more peace. It's it's propelling this uh, progress for you to make it better. Okay, so let's tap into the getting deep on the way that you're making progress, the way that you can support and nurture yourself for further flourishing further growth they're commending you they're the ones that are commending you for what you're doing here how you're navigating it what you've created what you're creating what you're progressing what you're moving on what you're working on they're they're seeing you on the right track jobs well done there's a lot for because i think to counteract the energies of the world what we're surrounded with any single time you can make connect for more peace or remember you're a truce maker with any difficulty or slight eruption coming up um they're bringing you back to that. It's going to help you with your divine power to actually make things better than you. So it's, they're helping you on so many different levels. I like looking at it as a tree with the veins, what's in your veins, what's running through you. And you can trust how you feel and just supporting your floration, what you're growing, what you're, what you're building and growing in your life. And they're bringing that home in some way that to nurture that they're nurturing that, but you nurture that and, Every time you just make the effort to keep your heart pure, clear, and open, no matter what has happened, um, flushing out the old hurts and everything, um, remaining open and clear, it's helping with the progress. So we're getting you know, one card. It's okay to just pause until you feel further inspired. It's okay to just pause to feel further inspired. Um, because this, they want you like this. So if you're not feeling this way, there might be moments, and this has come up a lot. You might want to take more moments out to for more peace. You want to take more time out to clear open your heart. What's running through your veins? What are you feeling? Um, do you need more trust and faith in here? What is nurturing this progress, right, for you? What's bringing you back to this connection where you feel you're on the right track, you're making great progress? So they're definitely saying it's okay to just pause until you feel further inspired. So if you need more moments to get in touch in your heart, um, to create more peace for yourself, to understand where you're planted and what you're trying to move forward on, um, how you can make things better for yourself. We kept on saying all that, and you're getting that from what you're rooted in, from the peaceful moments, from the insight that you're getting. Um, it's okay to even pause until you feel further inspired. So that's what they're saying. I almost feel like your divine connection, your divine power is from your divine connection. We kept on getting the hermit card with as much as you're doing work, it's really going to be okay to pause. It's really going to be okay to pause. Um, because the, your divine power is coming from con your connection. A lot of these things are when you're taking for more, connecting for more peace, uh, you can connect and have more 
you can wait. You don't have to feel like you have to rush through. Yeah, because you're saying stay in tune with your energy, knowing when it needs to be rested, uplifted, adjusted. Yeah, they're really bringing this home. So this is for you to stay in your peace in your place and in your peace. Um, it's okay to just pause until you feel further inspired and stay in tune with your own energy, knowing when it needs to be adjusted, rested, or uplifted. Remember this divine power, there's so much here that they are really looking at you like this to be fully rooted, stay in tune with your own energy, know when it needs to be adjusted, rested, uplifted. You might be taking more moments out to just kind of bathe in this energy to kind of soak and saturate yourself like roots in the earth. Um, because they're saying you don't have to be, there's something about this, that your divine energy is being supported by actually being still, by actually having peace, by actually being more in tune with your own energy um, at this time. So it's helping you to pure out, pure out, <laughs> clear out, pure out. Um, yeah, but they're supporting your progress and everything else because what your divine power is being used for in the big scheme is to be used and make things better. But you don't have to move until you feel further inspired. You can stay in tune with your own energy, know when it needs to be adjusted, rested, or uplifted, because you are, the goal is more peace, feel rooted, cleansed, clear, as you're going forward here. Um, stay in touch with what you really feel. So if you need that time, give it to yourself, definitely. All right, let's get the divine spirit messages. They're saying, listen to the signs you're getting. Trust what you are feeling again. Trust what you are feeling again. So you have divine power to really know what you feel and trust what you're feeling. So that's going to be your navigation system for everything. Like, how does it feel to you? What are we getting here? Open yourself up to possibilities. Yes. Didn't they say more is coming in? So they're ending it with open up to possibilities. But this trust what you are feeling, know what you really feel. They're really getting back to your heart, your pure heart. What are you feeling here? Um, how do you really feel? They're having you work through a lot of your feelings at this time. Listen to the signs you're getting. They're giving you a lot of signs. They're giving you a lot of messages. I think that that's why they're having you stay in tune with your own energy. It's okay to pause until you feel further inspired. They really want you to listen to the signs that you're getting at this time. You may want to say no. Wow. And time to move on from that now. Wow. And stay open to possibilities. So there's a lot of things, especially when it comes to your progress. Trust what you're feeling. Listen to everything that you're receiving. I think that's why we're having a lot of downtime. There's definitely going to be some things you're going to be saying yes to and no to because they're the ultimately they're saying it's time to move on and open yourself up to possibilities. So this could be a time where you're taking for your progress a lot more downtime, a lot more tuning into your own feelings, a lot more peaceful, making peace with things, um, really tapped in, listening to everything because you're actually moving on for new uh, possibilities and trying to pure out your heart of everything that's happened so far to welcome those in, right? So it's kind of like a divine process that's happening here that they're actually commending you for a job well done, but also for the process that it's taking as you're making your progress. Ultimately, you're here to have divine power to use and make things better. You're kind of navigating that at this time, right? There's a lot of evaluating. This has come up in a lot of readings where you might need more, some more downtime, tuning into your self time to nurture yourself and tap into that nurturing energy in some way, fashion, whether it's this reading, whether you're guided to other things, that's actually enabling you to pure out your heart, pure out, clear out your heart of everything that's happened this far so that you can be welcoming to the new, right? Open yourself up to new possibilities. So with this process in the downtime and making peace with a lot of things, it's clearing out a lot out of the old if you're thinking of yourself as like this wonderful magnificent unique tree what have you experienced that's like clogged up how are you clearing this up now because they're saying time to move on from this now how are you clearing this out supporting and nurturing yourself so that you're open to the possibilities that are coming in for you um they're giving you a star for jobs well done they want you to celebrate everything that you've succeeded your successes, your achievements, the love and joy you've created. Um, and as you're going forward for more progress, definitely help and support coming from others at this time. So it might be a time of reaching out for those good connections. 
but as you're going forward with the progress, there's a lot of, you may want to say no to some things going forward. There's a lot about what are you going forward on um, to make things better at this time. So they are the ones that are having you really get in touch with your feelings, really clear out the old, get ready for the new. But the bottom line is when they were saying with this message, I mean, it's a star for a job well done, but they're nurturing you for whatever your progress is as you go forward. And they're having you kind of pause and clear out everything that's happened so far so that you're open for the possibilities. Do you see? Um, so that inner, that inner work that you might be really experiencing about making different kinds of decisions. What are you saying yes to? What are you saying no to? They're really helping you get in touch with your real feelings um, so that you're going forward in a better way. Ultimately, your divine power is really being used for more peace at this time, going forward, making things better. Um, and that's what they're saying. But there's a lot of things that you may be saying no to going forward. So allow yourself this time because they're saying it is okay to just pause until you feel further inspired, right? This is for divine abundance, staying in tune with your own energy. So really managing your own energy is really playing a big part in your abundance at this time. And sometimes we just need that time to really rejuvenate ourselves, to feel further inspired, because then you'll be like, trust what you're feeling. You could almost be getting that on the inside that maybe this isn't the time. Maybe I just need to saturate in my own juices for a while. Almost like a tree has roots in getting nurtured. I almost don't have words for what's coming through with this reading. Sometimes what we're doing in life is not all go, go, go. And as much as we are accomplishing and we are accomplishing at the same time, don't get me wrong, we're not just sitting here and doing nothing, but there's something extra going on right now where they want you kind of um, nurturing yourself very deeply and at the same time clearing out what you've been holding in your body because it's like clear out the old, like what, if I can put it more, it's like what's clogging this nourishment. It's time to open yourself up for more as you go forward. So in the in-between, they're helping you to clear out and this is all for going forward and you're on the right track. Definitely what's helping is you trusting everything that you're feeling at this time. And their bottom line is they want you to be nobody but yourself. Like getting back to this. And we're so saturated by the world, the 24-7, everything else. Sometimes we need that time to do this work um, because it's actually prep work. Uh, for the next step in your progress, for the, for what you're doing next. So there's a lot going on here. And the bottom line is it, it, because you have divine power to use now and make things better. Um, so there's something about this nurturing time, feeling inspired as you do things, um, really listening to the, what you're feeling. They're really getting you back in touch with your heart, what you're feeling and clearing out all the gook. You know, when you have... Um, like a tube that has stuff stuck in it. It's like cleaning out your drains, <laughs> cleaning out your drains and going even deeper. So you feel even more, more rooted, more supported, more nurtured. Um, you know, so that's like a lot of work that's been going on in the last couple of um, readings. So as much as you're, yes, they're assuring you, yes, job's well done, you're making great progress and everything else. And they definitely want you to celebrate your accomplishments, what you've achieved so far. But they're definitely doubling down on this, getting back to your pure heart and clearing out all the old experiences because it's time to move on from that now and open up to new possibilities. And they kept on saying September is going to feel like, almost like you're rejuvenating regeneration Um for a new year, a new start, new levels to things. What are you building? What are you growing? So it's really getting you back to you and really getting back to your roots and getting back to the support and getting back in touch with your feelings and getting back, you know, and sometimes we don't have the time to do all that with everything that we're actually working on and doing on in the physical 24 seven. So there is a lot going on here. Um, that they're really trying to bring home over and over again on the readings. And I know I'm babbling a lot, but you could be feeling this. And it, it is almost like a deep, deep uh, reevaluation, a deep, deep cleaning and clearing, a deep, deep um, acknowledgement of the past that you can move forward on and seeing things very real, really bringing you back when you have all these cards about feeling. It's really, what are you really feeling about this? What are you really feeling about that? 
um, how are you going to be moving forward? So they're encouraging you and nourishing you and definitely giving you a lot of love support back. And they're giving you a lot of signs, whatever else that you're guided to that could help you to stay in this vein and clear and clean out and go forward and feel like they're congratulating you on the work and assisting you again to move on for more opportunities. And they're just enabling this in every which way. You can find yourself divinely kind of guided to things that are helping you to flush you out kind of to give you that nurturing that support whatever you need I, I just find this like magical that this was the number one card because you're not going to get that in the physical um you might get it in like you know a dash like a dash of salt but i'm talking about this deep saturation so that you feel supported and nurtured and at the same time cleansing out and clearing out what's not supporting your growth your progress they're really divinely lead, um guiding you to things to help assist with that so that you are going forward you are using your divine power to make things better use it and make things better and not uh, be depleted or not feel supported in that or anything else so I really find that almost like no words because there's a lot going on it in externally but also internally and you could be really feeling it at this time but what I feel like this reading is is that inner work you know, what they say is like light work is a 24 seven job. You could find that as much as you're doing on the outside, you're also really doing a lot of inside work, right? And at the same time, that inside work is affecting your outside work. And so that's why they're saying it's okay to pause until you feel further inspired. Inspired just means like in spirit, right? And they want you to be in spirit, be bold, be different, be nobody but yourself. Um, they're taking good, really good care of your energy. Everything we, in this world affects our energy. Everything affects what's in our soil. Everything affects how we're feeling. Everything affects, you know, it's kind of like, I, I don't know what else to say, but like getting fully saturated again in what's supporting this big, beautiful tree and everything and all your efforts in the physical. There could be a lot of evaluation and really getting in touch with your feelings. The way to go is to know, obviously, wherever you're planted is where you're meant and you're making it better. You have divine power to use to make things better. At the same time, they're really assisting you with um, opening yourself back up to possibilities again. What are you building and growing now in your life, right? Um, so they're really encouraging your progress but along the way, we've really gotten kind of clogged up or we're really could be making making peace with some things. So it frees us up even better to move forward in a more efficient way. So I really think that I think I finally, as much as my babbling, I think it is to improve, improve the efficiency. And you might have been, I think that's what's, what's uh, affecting us inside to encourage us to improve the efficiency in what we're doing because on a soul level you do know that you're here for and you have divine power to use and make things better and so along the way you kind of understand that your the efficiency <laughs> of that can be improved improved and so i think in this reading what they're saying is if you need more downtime if you need to really get in touch with your feelings if you need to clear out your old experiences if you need to understand what you're even feeling if you need to feel more on track like tap into them because all of your divine power is through your roots and soil with them um so whatever is kind of doing that for you is really going to help you really as you go forward so i think this is to honor your inner work and downtime as much as you're doing on the external which has been a double whammy all through uh the end of august going into september really is um so it's kind of prep work so it's almost like don't um be on your own side with that as much as they're nourishing you you nourish yourself you know and if there's some things that you want to say no to now you know they're saying like trust what you're feeling if there's some things that you feel like you want to say no to is that helping you clear out get back to yourself your pure heart and soul you know, they're really going to be working with you. And I think this is a, a repeating message that it's almost like they're they're with you. <laughs> they're with you as you're doing this. Let's end it with pure love from spirit. So they're with you. They are with you. This pure love support backing is with you as you're navigating all of this. Um, so sometimes it doesn't feel great because it sometimes, especially you feel like if you don't get a million things done that you're not doing anything or accomplishing anything but this inner work process you're accomplishing a lot just as much as well and it's prep prep for the outer work as well right it's enabling you so you will 
send you some help is what they want you to know. We had helpful connections. Help and support is available through your connections. They're also going to divinely bring in some help. They're going to send you some help. They want you to know that for what you're accomplishing, what you're growing, what you're trying to manifest. It's been a repeating message with your projects. They're sending you some help, probably through your connections, because they said reach out and form those connections. So they're definitely going to help send you some help. So reach out for good connections. Help support is now through your connections. They're also sending you some help. Listen to the signs you're getting. Everything else, they're going to send some help. We will hope you feel secure. I feel like that's what they're saying as you are the plant to feel secure, like deeper roots, um, deeper saturation the, for the peace and everything else. They're helping you feel more secure. So I almost feel like this downtime or what you're doing for yourself in the quiet behind the scenes that people don't see is helping you feel more secure. Um, that's the love support backing that they're trying to bring forth in this reading. And we send our love. Yeah, we're going to help send you some help. We want you to feel secure. We will send you some help. We will help you feel secure. We send our love. Exactly. I said this is love support backing for you in the physical to help you feel, feel rooted, saturated, supported, bring this home to you that they're sending your, their love to you. Feel secure. They're going to send you some help. This is literally to be bold, be different, stand out from the rest. And all that makes you unique is the most beautiful for you. Yes, be you in all your naturally different ways right now. This is what they're supporting you. Wherever you're planted to feel secure in this, they're going to bring this love to you, send this love to you in every which way. Besides this reading is what I'm trying to bring home. That's help. First of all, that's help <laughs> to feel secure and feel that love is help. And then they're also going to send some help through in the physical with people to help you. They're saying you're making great progress, but what I'm going on and on about is that they're helping you to go forward now and make things better. And in the process, there is a release of everything that you've held thus far. They're commending you on shining star jobs. Well done. You're making great progress. Keep going. That kind of nurturing and support is what they're giving you all day long to help navigate how you're opening yourself back up to possibilities. They're helping you to kind of release the old it's okay to take that down time and get in touch with your feelings that you may not have had the chance to do, right? Listen to the signs you're getting. They're sending you a lot of help. Be and everything, be bold. They're supporting you here. I can't say this enough because ultimately what the two cards on the left were saying is your divine power is being used, if I can bring this up, to use for this to make it better for other people. So there's something about this where they're going to keep infusing and nurturing you to be nobody but yourself, using your talents, your gifts, whatever it is for your work, your personal. They're nurturing and supporting this. And along the way, they're helping you also to clear out so you remain that way. And that's the divine inner work in the in, behind the scenes um, that happens, what I call inner work or behind the scenes work. So there's a lot going on within you as you're doing things outside right so that's why stay in touch with your own energy know when it needs to be adjusted rested uplifted you want to be nurtured you want to be steady you want to feel secure it's okay to pause if you need more inspiration if you need to bring in more faith and trust if you need to take time to understand what you really feel what are you saying yes to what are you saying no to um because they're getting you back to moving on from more opportunities more possibilities you're making great progress and keep going and keep reaching out for great connections and the help they're sending you some help in the physical and in, with them so definitely supporting you to be nobody but yourself i would say and as there's inner and outer work going on at this time um they're definitely sending you some help and they're helping you feel secure in the process and they send you love so I wish you the best with what you're doing and the progress that you're obviously making and they're supporting you and the progress. And that's been a repeating message about this is manifesting help, the manifesting support, but they're supporting you and the progress, right? You and your works, you and your works, they're commending. But in the process, that's a lot of inside and outside stuff that's going on here. And they're saying, we're gonna send you some help. We want you to feel secure and we're sending our love. Now, besides this reading, activate, proactively do that for yourself because that's going to give you the divine power that you need. And it's also going to help you flush out and keep going and make progress. So that's the inside job that I'm talking about. And all day long, they're saying, instead of focusing on what's not working or what's not yet, celebrate your successes, accomplishments, and all the love and joy you have created. I mean, that's the guy. How beautiful is that? I mean, we don't get that here. So 
yeah, that's the love that's here for you. That's trying to help support you and uh, make you feel secure in the process. So I wish you the best with, again, the great progress that you're making. And along the way, this is your love support backing. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.